Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today I'm going to talk to you about the 2016 Keystone Passport 238 ML. This is going to be a nice lightweight bunkhouse at under 3,900 pounds. It's got plenty of room for the kids, a uh, nice dinette, and a Murphy bed. We'll take a look at all that in just a moment. First, let's talk about some of the features on the outside. Right up front here, Keystone is going to give you the um, uh, propane tank cover. This is going to house two 20 pound propane tanks. You have the nice thumb screws on here just uh, go ahead and turn those open it up and that will allow you to access the uh, propane tanks right behind that you are going to have a shelf for your battery nice and easy to hook up there and then behind that you'll have your diamond plating so this is going to help protect against any rocks or anything that get thrown up by the tow vehicle so it's not going to scratch up your fiberglass one other thing to note right above the plating you can see right over there that you're going to have a light so if you are hooking up or disconnecting at night that's going to help you see so one of the big things about Passport is going to be the towability. As I mentioned, this is a lightweight unit. You can take a look at the arc here on the front. It's going to have a nice curve, so it's going to be nice and aerodynamic, which is going to help improve your fuel economy. As we take a look at the pass-through, you can see right in there, a uh, nice big pass-through. You'll also notice it's going to have an aluminum frame. Again, that's part of what's going to help, uh, help this unit be lightweight, and it's also going to be nice and strong. Very high-quality, well-built unit. But nice big pass-through. You can see how wide the door is. One of the things I like about Passport, it's going to be the same size on this side as it is on the other side, so you're able to fit in your larger items from either end. Big power awning, you can see it's going to basically cover the entire length of the coach, which is exactly what you want. That way you can set up your chairs and everything around here. And if you are sitting out here at night, there is going to be an LED strip underneath that awning that's going to provide that light for you so you don't have to hang your Christmas lights. Also right underneath that power awning, you'll see you are going to have outside speakers. Those are going to be connected to your multimedia center inside. The neat thing about that though is it is going to be Bluetooth capable. So if you have a smartphone or tablet uh, that has the Bluetooth capability, you are able to hook up to that and be able to control it that way. So if you have streaming services like Pandora, iHeartRadio, or maybe you just have a large playlist on your phone, you can connect to the Bluetooth and listen to that while you're sitting outside. Getting into the coach is nice and easy. You're going to have two steps right on in. Uh, the coach is going to sit low to the ground, so you're only going to need the two steps. Right here is going to be an electrical outlet, so if you did need to plug anything in, you do have that access right there. Perfect for an electric griddle, anything else you want to hook up. Then not only do you have the large pass-through storage, but you're also going to have this storage right here underneath the bunk. So this is also going to have a light in there, so if you are getting into it at night, it's going to be nice and easy to go ahead and access. Uh, the axles down below, I do want to talk about those a second. Those are going to be easy lube axles, so it's a lot less maintenance. You can just go ahead and take your grease gun. They're going to have grease certs in there. Uh, go ahead and pump those up. But that is going to be uh, less maintenance for you, which is always a good thing. You are going to get a spare tire with this unit, so hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, you're going to be covered. Right back here is the location for your sewer hose. This just unscrews and your sewer hose is going to be located right in there for you. One other thing I want to mention about Passport, if you take a look at the top, you'll see you're going to have a nice arced roof. Uh, the nice thing about that is the water is going to run put to the sides. Then you can see you have the rain gutters, you're going to take it to the front and back. That way, rain isn't going to be dumping right on your campsite. Uh, one last quick thing before we head in, I do want to mention, on the other side, on the off-door side, you are going to have an outside shower with both hot and cold access. So if you do need to use it, whether it's to rinse off your feet, the dog, whatever it may be, this unit is going to come equipped with one. I know it's great on the outside. It's nice and short, great bunkhouse. Let's head on in and take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2016 Keystone Passport 238 ML. This particular model is going to be in a brand new interior. It's going to be called Driftwood. It's this nice uh, spiral mosaic pattern here. It has a lot of neutral colors with a couple of blue accents in there. Uh, but as far as the floor plan itself, let's start off right over here on our very large dinette. The thing I love about the placement of the dinette in the 238 is you can see right here you have this nice big window. This is exactly where you want the dinette in your coach. Because that way, you know, as you're eating meal, maybe you're having your morning coffee, you can take a look out at the campsite instead of staring out at your neighbor. Also, this will drop down into an additional bed so if you do need additional sleeping space you can go ahead and have it right there if we take a look up top here you do have some excellent storage we can open this up have the nice tinted glass there but there will be storage inside of that 
to the left of that, you have another storage bin here, and then this is going to be your multimedia center. So this is going to be a radio, CD, as well as a DVD player. Uh, that DVD player is going to be hooked up to the TV, and this is also going to be Bluetooth capable. Uh, this is going to be Jensen Electronics, which is going to be a, a big deal because that's actually going to be built for specifically for the RV industry. So it's able to take all the uh, climate changes as well as the rattles from going down the road. Um, as we make our way down a little bit further, you can see right here, you're going to have your inside speakers, again, connected to that multimedia center, and you're going to have a bank of LED lights that run all the way through. LED lights are great because they're not going to take near the energy, so if you are boondocking, you're going to get more bang for your buck out of your battery. Uh, TV right here, this will be on a swivel arm mount, so you can go ahead and swing this around, whether you're going to be uh, sitting on the couch in the dinette cooking, whatever it may be, you're able to see that from a lot of different angles. Uh, let's head right back here. So this unit is going to be a bunk unit. You can see here you're going to have two bunks. These are the teddy bear bunk series, so they're nice and soft, very comfortable. That way the uh, kids can get a good night's rest. The other thing I do like about it is you notice you get a window on both the top and the bottom, as well as a light. So whether you're using natural sunlight or the LED lights, the kids are going to have plenty of light in their bunks. Right back here is the bathroom. Uh, straight ahead is going to be our mirrored medicine cabinet, plenty of storage there. Uh, underneath you can see you have a nice big countertop space, a plug for hair dryer, storage underneath the sink, and then right here is going to be the toilet with uh, plenty of legroom. You're going to get a tub shower in this unit, which is perfect for the kids in case they do want to take a bath. Then up top, you're going to have a skylight with a vent, which is going to help, of course, get a lot of moisture out of the bathroom as well as add some additional headspace. Right when you come out of the bathroom, take a look right here. You do have a nice versatile closet. On the left side, you have some excellent wardrobe space. Then on the right side, you have some shelving space, and these shelves are going to be removable. So if you want to use this for clothes, you can do that, or if you want to use it for pantry space you can certainly do that as it's going to be located right next to your fridge and freezer. This will be a Dometic fridge freezer. We can go ahead and open that up. You can see you have plenty of room in there. Uh, you have a cutout here in case you do have a two liter of pop, half gallon of milk, something like that. Uh, but this fridge freezer is going to run off both electric and LP and it's also going to have automatic switch over for you. So if you run it off LP as soon as you plug it into shore power that is going to switch over saving you on your gas. Uh, rounding out the rest of the kitchen, right up top here is the microwave. Something I do want to point out, and that's how lightweight this unit is, only 3,870 pounds, under 4,000 pounds, so easily towable by a lot of your mid-size SUVs. So that's definitely something to think about as we're going through this unit. It has enough room for the whole family and it can still easily be towed. Uh, right here is going to be our uh, vent hood. This will have the vent on it as well as the light. Then underneath that is the th uh, Atwood 3 burner cooktop. Conventional oven right here, perfect for anything we need to bake. And then if we take a look underneath there, you'll see you do get some great extra storage there. Great place for pots and pans. Plenty of countertop space in here. They, uh, they help, they aid that by utilizing your sink with giving you the sink top covers. These are going to be cutting board quality. You can take these off, flip them over, use them as cutting boards. And if you take a look at the sink there, you'll notice you have a double bowl sink, nice large bowl on the left and smaller bowl on the right. Uh, also have your stainless high rise faucets. That way you're able to fit nice big pots under there, making it easier to wash the dishes. Uh, window here is going to help let in a lot of natural light, you know, especially with the window across the way with the dinette, it brings a lot of light into the unit, which is fantastic. You're also going to have an LED light here, making it nice and bright in your kitchen as well. If you take a look up top, I love what they do here. They have the beautiful raised panel cabinetry, your brush nickel poles here, but a nice extra space. So, you know, if you want to use the back uh, a section as wardrobe, you, you know, you can use this, just this as pantry. But if you do want the, um, the extra pantry space, you certainly do have it. Right underneath here is something that's really cool. You do get an extra plug-in right there. So if you have a coffee maker, blender, something you want to set there, uh, you can certainly go ahead and plug that in. Right over here, you get some extra storage. Uh, all passports are going to have these somewhere located in them, which is going to be your uh, nice ball bearing full extension drawers. And then you'll have storage underneath there as well. Then right underneath the sink, we can open this up. And again, you get great storage. The top one's perfect for your cleaning chemicals. And then down below, again, you have great storage area. So, you know, if you want to put your pots and pans down there, if they're not all going to fit underneath the oven, you do have lots of space. 
As we take a look at the front of the coach, this is something that's uh, fairly unique to the 238. It's pretty nice. Uh, and that's going to be your Murphy style bed. So the reason I like the Murphy bed in this coach is because it is a smaller coach. A lot of times in a small coach like this with a bunk bed, you have to sacrifice your couch. But it's not the case the Murphy bed. You're gonna this will fold down into a bed, and you still get the couch. So you have another area to sit on a rainy day besides just the dinette. So I love that they do this. It is easy to make. This is a jackknife style sofa. Uh, so you can see underneath here that you do get plenty of storage. But this jackknife sofa just lays flat. This is going to fold down and then uh, your mattress of course is going to lay on top of that. You get great storage all the way around. On both sides you're going to have mirrored wardrobe. Uh, they will have hanging rod in there as well as a shelf up top. Then across the top you're going to have three doors. They'll have the tinted glass with additional storage there. Uh, also on both sides, uh, I'm sorry, on, on the one side there you're going to get a shelf as well as an electrical outlet. So if you do need a place to plug in a uh, cell phone, tablet, maybe you have a CPAP machine you can certainly hook it up right over there. All right, folks, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Again, this is a 2016 Passport 238 ML. This one is going to be in the all-new Driftwood interior. This is just a, a great coach for the family. It's going to be small enough. You can take it just about anywhere. It's light enough, you know, being under 3,900 pounds that you can tow it with a, a mid uh, or a mid size to large SUV. It just has a lot of great features. The double bunks, a nice big dinette. The Murphy bed here is absolutely phenomenal. It's a, definitely a great space savings. This is one you want to come take a look at. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those on the video below, or you can give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, and I'll be happy to help that way as well. Thanks for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.